Hello, good to see you. My name's Tony FM DNA. Back from some more Liverpool rebuild, the Twilight Zone. It's season three. It's a transfer window special, and we're back with uh, Will Prowse wins Football of the Year and also wins Players Player of the Year, all voted by Man City players. I bet you. Ah, uh, he's had a fantastic season. Thirty-six appearances, only one goal, nineteen assists, seven point six nine. Phenomenal, absolutely fantastic season. Uh, players and team of the year, we got Sesco, Eddie Yemi, we got Nianzu, Pellegrini. Uh, yeah, really, really good. If I take a look at the players, who was the best performance at the club? You got Ward Prowse, Sesco, Bellingham, Pellegrini, whose transfer we've made permanent now. Eddie Yemi, Diallo, Nianzu, Ramsey, Dalau, uh, Guri. Uh, Kamara, all have had a very, very good season. And the goals, Adiyemi, 28, Sesco, 25, Jubelum, 14, Guri, 11, Harvey, 9. And I'll tell you something, Carvalho is doing really well out on loan. Over in Cyprus, 34 appearances, 8 goals, 4 assists, 7.08. Very good. So we've got him come back into the mix. Who else? The 17 or 16-year-old when we first bought him. He's dropped down a few stars. He's only three star now, which is very, very disappointing. We're going to loan him out again, though, to see, to see hopefully that improves. Right, what am I looking at? Let's go to the team dynamics. Squad dynamics, squad depth. That's what I want to see. Squad depth. Uh, what am I looking at? I, left back. I need another left back. Top tier centre back. And I feel... That's going to be it because attacking wise, really good. War Prowse and Jubelum, just the best. You're not going to get no better than that. And you've got Taliso that's trying to force his way in. And Shelby now on the way out. There's no trans news at the moment other than Berkey and Shelby. I've accepted offers for them. Hopefully they will go. So I'll take a look at some centre backs. I'll show you them and see what one I will go for. Let's take a look. So one of them is Alexandro Pistoni. I put a bid in for him, 65 million. They do want a bit more than that, but that's about my limit. We've only got 71, 73 million to spend. He is a very good centre back. I'd love to get him in. Uh, if you don't know who he is already, you're missing out. He is. If you can get him for a good price, definitely go and get out and get him. Six foot three, just phenomenal. Would be the best centre back at the club. The other centre back I'm looking at is Wesley Fofana from Leicester. Another very good centre back, six foot three again. He's going to cost a bit of money. Let's make an offer for him as well. I have been trying to lowball him to try and see if I can make the player unhappy and get him transfer listed. He is going to cost a lot of money. Let's offer 65. We're off for 65. There we go. There's the transfer budget. We've got 71.39 million. I do own how much we've got to spend. Uh, I'll put that in and then we'll see. See out of which one of these two is going to come in. That's going to be all our money. We need to shift players on. One player in particular we need to shift on is Cardi. He's on 245k a week. I love to get a bit of money from him. I've offered him out for zero just to get the interest. Now I reject all them offers. And then offer him for a good price. And hopefully he will go. What sort of season has he had? Uh, he scored five goals. So he's, he's picked up a little bit. 6.92. Hopefully that's enough for someone to spend 30 odd million on him. Hopefully that's enough. Gareth Bale's on his way out. His contract's expired. Um, he's on 275k, so that's going to be freeing up some wages. So he's not had the best time in Germany. He might want to go to uh, America. Someone should maybe tell him that. Yeah. Right. Next time you see me will be when hopefully we've got someone in, or there might be a hint of someone coming in. Hopefully it's a centre-back. Let's see. So a little bit of transfer news. Uh, Kerr might be on his way out. 26.5 million. I hope he goes out. And then Frankfurt, hopefully they will match it. We don't need him no more. We're going to bring in a top tier centre back for Fana. Hopefully might be one of them. Time will tell. It, look, with this, like I say, and Bastoni, like I say, they're the two. It's gone up to 78 million now. I'm trying, and I've got backup plans for backups. As, uh, yeah, Salasu, 25 million, even though they want a lot more. And you can see the sort of players I'm after. It's, uh, even like, like this from Arsenal. 7.5 million if I can get for that. That would be a good price. Six foot four. You know I like a bit of height in defence. 
Uh, left back, I don't want to spend any money. You know Pellegrini's coming in. So I'm just looking at left back. I'm looking at these sort of players on loan. But I don't want to pay too much money. Valquez, uh, Sanchez and Guterres uh, loan. But his loan's quite expensive. Really don't really want to... Look, 84k a month or to compared to 725k a month yeah so who but who is a real good left back that would be on loan we'll see one of them will come in shelby's joining he's on his way you already know about but that is really about it so yeah i've got backups after backups i really i had this guy on my um my rebuild Valencia, I'm wearing the shirt and my mind went completely blank. My Valencia rebuild, so I know he's a very good player and he's six foot five as well. So he is back up for the backups. I've got so many players that I'm interested in. Hopefully, a centre back, a top tier one, will be in soon. But Stoney looks like he could be coming in for Fana. They just want too much. I just can't. They just want too much. 94 million. We ain't got that money to spend, and I'm not doing installments. Keep mentioning it. Uh, wages wise should, shouldn't be a problem let's go and negotiate now 78 million though it is a lot c plus let's see what we can do i've got to be sensible tony be sensible normally i would just say yep yeah, you can have that money 135 what are we saying there 175 145 i'm trying to be sensible with money 155 it seems a lot five years he's 24 years of age such a good player so yeah we've got a center back coming in i just need to figure out what sort of left back i want out of them three that i want to loan in and then we'll see if we can pick up some other little bits and pieces there is a goalkeeper coming in did i mention it leno contracts expiring is he here there he goes 31 years of age obviously back he's going in for 11.5 million he's going to get 49k a week in wages but that's not bad is it 32 year old Berkey going for 11.5 million and we pick up leno on a free to play backup like i said he is back at 100k a week no chance 50k at our place actually 49.5 right i will show you if anyone else comes in okay to care has rejected dortmund which is really frustrating because i really wanted to go but now chelsea have come in for an offer for him i've offered him back out 26.5 million yes please go i've delayed this transfer for this center back because this is i want him in as well and I will try and pronounce his name later on. That's the moment in time. Leaving it. I want him in as well. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's see. So I need to bring him in. Or we need Kara to go. Because Pistoni is waiting for a work permit. That's all I'm waiting for now. I've cancelled everything else. I've got Leno, Leno coming in. Uh, contract's been offered. It's not been agreed yet. So I just need a few of these going over the line. And then it's the left back. I'm in between two left backs now. So Sanchez on loan. Looks good. They're only going to be playing backup. So I, I don't want to spend too much. I don't, like I say. I, actually, it's going to be the other guy. I don't like his pace. <laughs> I don't like his pace. I fully scouted him now. I don't like his pace. So this Sanchez, fine. We'll bring him in to play backup. Addy Yemi, they keep coming in. I keep saying 100 million. And then we'll see. We'll see. West Ham contract director of football. 1.5 million combo. Right. Let's see. I want us to just get Bastonian. Get him in. Get a uh, Kara out the door. And I want Leno in as well. And then I'll be happy. We'll, we'll be sorted. We'll, we'll be, things are ticking over. It's the 10th of June. So there's still a bit of time. Good news. Bastoni is in. It's been a work It's been accepted. Let's accept it. Done. Bad news. Sanchez application rejected. Yeah, so I still need to hunt for another left back. So it's the 3rd of July, and let's go over our transfers. Who did we bring in? Bastoni for 78 million. Gutierrez from Real Madrid on loan. It's 8.75 million for the loan. It's going to cost a lot of money. There is it like a 30 million option to buy. Uh, 30 million is a lot of money. We ain't got the money at this moment in time. We spent mostly all of it on Bastoni. Then this guy that I'm going to struggle pronouncing. Uh, yeah, and now that's it. I'm gonna try it later on. Um, what I say, Gareth Bale's released on the free. Who else is gonna? Pellegrini, you knew about. We 
done that ages ago, confirmed it. Uh, but no, uh, Leno's in on a free transfer, so not much news. I think everything that we wanted to get done, we got done. We got a centre back, we got a left back, and we got another centre back. That's a that's a bonus. And with that other centre back, Kamara, I've offered him out for thirty eight million. He had a fantastic se uh, fantastic season. Seven points or nine. He had a good season. We got him on a free transfer, and then like. Offers were coming in for him, and, uh, and I've accepted him, and then he didn't want to go. And so now I've offered him out again, but 38 million would be phenomenal. Would be really, really good. I've clicked like loads of different buttons that I didn't want to click. Yeah, uh, Inter Milan, 38 million, absolutely phenomenal. We do need to get rid of Akadi. Uh, I've not even checked him out. He's come back to the club. Here he is. I don't know why he keeps saying free. I don't want it. No, it's not free. 20 million? There you go. 20 million we'll see what that could do but yeah that seems to be about it so far like i say gareth bow is uh the scout them gareth bow's got out on a free transfer it was we knew his contract was expiring so now i think the team's done i don't think i need to do much more finances we've got nothing but if we can bring in 38 million from the sal kamara that will give us a little bit more money i a cheeky little bid for rafini 20 million at uh, Man City, but uh, they want much more than that for him. They, how much did they pay for him? 45 million. Yeah, he's 45 million for two appearances and one goal. That is a lot of money for just two appearances. And also, I like, yeah, I like putting offers in to see, test the waters, test the waters. I know I ain't got the money at the moment, but we, it might, we might come bring some in. Right. Let's get um, let's get to the beginning of the season. There are some good players out there still, but attacking, we're all right. Actually, rather than just get to the August, let's take a look at the squad now. Let's have a look at dynamics. Let's have a look at the tactic. If I pick quick, quick pick without restrictions, best 11. Oh, I'm all over the place. Sony, yep. Oh, wait a minute. I want a Diallo. Actually, where's Nianzu? Where is Nianzu? Because that's who I want the partner. That's really. He is good though. And I know he's good from my. Um, Valencia rebuild. But he's also very good. One the kid with loads of potential. Was a one the kid. 21 years of age. So Pellegrini is allowed. Wall prowls. Yep. Coleman on the left now. Aronson. Adeyemi and Guri up front. Not Guri up front. Sesco. Guri's just on a new contract. An offer to come in for him, but I didn't want to lose him, so I did offer him a new contract. I've, really, maybe I should have accepted the offer because I do have Kingsley Coman that I really need to play a lot more. But that to me looks like a very, very good team. We got a good left back replacement, Diallo. Kamara's going to be on the way out. We've got another centre back, good. Right back, we've got Dalau, Ramsey. I need to offer this youngster out back on loan. That's the only thing I might need another striker, but Adi Yemi can come in. We've got Ben Neshi coming over there. We've got Guri. We've got Taliso. We've got Elliot as well that are coming over there. And then also uh, Carvalho's come back as well. So should we keep him about and try and fit him in the team? I don't know if he's got it in him to actually hit the potential that we need or to get into the first team. Yeah. And then we've got some good youngsters as well. We're there. We're there. Taliso, great. Another... Maybe another centre back, just in case both of them do get injured, and then we would be in dire straits with Taliso. I suppose we could play Harvey Elliott as the Mazala. Right, let's get to the beginning of the season, and then we can finally show all the transfers off. Feeling good about this season, especially we've got Champions League football this season, so it's going to be really, really good. Right, let's get to the first game of the season, and let's see, let's see what the squad looks like. So we've got to the first game of the season. So let's run through the transfer. So you've already seen it before. Bastoni, Gutierrez, Anal, don't know still how to say his name. Pellegrini, uh, Leno. So no one else knew has come in since I've uh, last spoke to you. But, and this is a big but, there is some players out. Some youngsters. Uh, Kamara for 38 million to Inter Milan. What a bit of business this is. You knew it was on the cards. 38 million, it cost us three, and we just, one season, one season. And not only that, even though 10 million, it's nowhere near the 38 million 
Cardi. He's gone. He's on 42k a week. Oh, I can't believe he's on 42k a week at uh, Napoli. We're paying 130k a week of his wages until his contract expires. Yeah. Yeah, we're spending 130k. And that's how they can pay him 42. That, if you look at him, he just looks amazing. But he was such a... Oh, he was, he was a pain in my backside. He really, really was. Seven goals at 22 games. But he was the penalty taker. You can't really look into that. He just... I'm so glad that he's gone. Some youngsters are gone. Uh, and like players loaned out. It is the first game of the season. It is Man United. That will be in the next episode. We do have a little bit of money. Because as I say, we're bringing in quite a bit of money now. 38 million for Kamara. 10 million for... Uh, some guy that I can't think of his name. What's his name? Fucking Akadi. Um, so we do have 8.8 .8 million and a little bit of wage budget, but I don't think I need it. I think uh, this squad's good enough. This squad is good enough. I need to get some of these youngsters out on loan, and I do actually need to move on Sanchez because there's uh there's not a spot for him. There's not a spot for him at all. Delal and uh, Ramsey at right back. So I do need to sell him on. Other than that. Very good squad. A very good squad. Maybe centre back, a uh, central midfielder, but might keep Tyler Morton here this season. Done not too bad in the championship. I will. I think I keep Tyler about. But that is it. Yeah. Transfer win the special done. So what have we really added to the lineup? Bastoni. Um, Bastoni. That, but we need to cover in other places. We needed a left back. We definitely need a left back. And we do three very good centre backs and Diallo as well that was already here so I feel the business not that we spent a lot we have spent a lot of money because Bastoni was a lot but um yeah I think good the players that come in have really improved the team and I'm really looking forward to trying to win the the league and the Champions League Carabao Cup and FA Cup let's do a clean sweep that'd be amazing three season in clean sweeping it all Liverpool rebuild, and I think that would be done. Right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, and I will see you for the first game of the season against Man United. See you then.